dear master and uh, and brother sister. And my name is Steven, and I'm like to share with the mobile clinic uh, how our operation and our vision, and also most importantly, is sustainability uh, for our operation. So our uh, main mission for mobile clinic is reach out to the area that lack of access to healthcare and um, serve the under serve the underserved and income disadvantage and provide quality care opportunity for everyone to join Suji or Bodhisattva path through medical mission, especially those community volunteer that we always like them to join our medical mission slowly will be going to know us in city and join other mission like charity, education, and so on. Then also plan a seat of the mobile clinic mission into the, our community. That's one of the important tasks that this mobile clinic has. And currently we have, uh, currently we have 10 mobile, as we mentioned before, uh, one in San Jose, four in Fresno, three in California, uh, Southern California, and two in New York. And uh, these are the four locations that have mobiles that have like medical mobile, two dental mobile, and one vision mobile in Fresno, Los Angeles will have one dental, one vision, one zero cancer screening. And San Jose, one dental, and New York have uh, one vision and one optical mobile. And each mobile have our own directors. So these are the names of directors that uh, we have on each location on all the mobiles uh, for all the uh, dental, vision, and medical and cancer mobile. And operation side, we always thanks to all this team that make sure all these mobiles are running smoothly and planned correctly. We have all this like press office, we have Olivia Chung for the office manager there. Then we have Clarence as coordinating all the mobile in Los Angeles. Sister Yuena coordinate, coordinating all the mobile uh, activity in San Jose and brother Han Yang in New York. Our mobile mission primary now is more of creating program and provide continued care. It's not, uh, just to show up an event. We, all our events on the mobile should be in the program that maintain uh, stability and give continued care for the patient, follow-up care. And it's not suitable for health fair. And most of the uh, mobile clinic we have is now by appointment. It's not completely all yet, but if down the line, we expect to be all mobile should be by appointment I will show you the reason why uh, later a couple of slides down and support the local uh, Tema activities and also uh, support by the Tema of volunteers and members and also mobile clinic itself have a volunteer. They may be not belong to Tema or city volunteer. They are the community volunteer to support to on our activity in the mobile clinic. And the benefit of the mobile clinic is can be reach out to rural area and fast and uh, and faster time to set up instead of normal outreach take four or five hour a mobile when reach a location most likely the most half hour or less it should be ready to go and operate right away. But the cost is high to buy a new mobile, but the operation cost is low compared to a fixed location. And another benefit of this mobile is the branding. It's a great marketing tool for Suji and a great, great potential to apply grants to support the mobile programs. When a mobile team that is mature, I mean, is strong and uh, organized, they eventually will increase their mobile fleet, adding more mobile in their own uh, network on or, or those locations. But committed team that will create more programs. You only committed team that are 
will continue to create more programs for their mobile clinic. In 2015, Suji platform, we introduced Suji platform as a healthy community, as a holding surrounding with mobile outreach, health education, and community volunteerism. Those are the key components uh, in our medical mission activity along with our charity mission, all those things. So why we create platform? Opportunity to work with our local partners. Opportunity to build a brand name for our community. An opportunity to build a strong medical team, either for Tema or mobile clinic and outreach team. Opportunity to have a strong local volunteer group outside of Tema, outside of Suji. That is our community volunteer group from college, school, or any other partners. And also provide quality care when we have a system in place on our platform. This will enable us to have a strong team to create a program and self-sustain with grants and mobile, in mobile clinic and outreaches. One I like to share is the, the Fresno mobile clinic team, the one who always have a one team, one dream, and one mission mindset. And uh, of course, we, all we hear today is uh, we have so many cancellation event uh, because of COVID-19, everything, but same happened to Fresno, this Fresno team. They are supposed to schedule 168 events in 2020. So far up to March, we, they're only able to have 28 events so far. Uh, we hope the COVID-19 will end soon, then uh, we'll continue back uh, doing the outreach. This team have going from north to south, helping other team or part of the organize the event or anything, as far as to Woodland, California over the years and to south as far as Calasico and uh, El Centro, going that far of, from this team, supporting uh, other agency, like flying doctors, all those things, doing outreach to reach out to those poor and needy uh, our medical service. Why this platform? Fresno have created this platform called Healthy Care for Healthy Fresno platform. This Fresno actually already introduced in 2015, like earlier I mentioned, into uh, Suji Medical Foundation uh, in Tima, Taiwan. And also we introduced uh, in 2015 the Tima USA Convention in St. Dimas, launching the SOP and everything. And um, also give the opportunity to local community partners to fund a program that create by a local task force using the city medical platform like C to Success program. Because of this program that I uh, have, uh, what I call it, uh, a platform that allow other agency to participate in our city program. That's very important why we have this platform. And because of this platform, create structure, system to execute a program to serve the local community without having a local partners have to recreate another new program. All these programs will be under the Suji program platform. Good program create branding for Suji and identify identity in our local community. And also the most important part of the module of healthy community, we are part of the safety net for people who have no access to medical, dental, and vision mobile. So it's either mobile or outreach, it's a safety net for all these people who need the medical service and no way to go, and they can come to Suchi. And just summarize this, it's more, that's how the platform of health, uh, care for healthy Fresno platform. We have all these four module. In under this each module, mobile clinic, we have all these program 
Remember I mentioned oh, we always meet to run as a program. We have Tuesday clinic program, we have dental appointment clinic program, then we have see to success for vision program for school, then we have senior VK vision and dental, and we are K for Highway 99 for vision and dental, which is during summer we go Central Valley to, uh, along the Highway 99, and also K for vision, which is for like other program under the vision care. Then outreach, we only we re, used to be this Fresno team used to do 18 to 20 outreaches a year. But now they reduced to probably three times, uh, three to four times a year uh, for outreach because they're more concentrated in program now. And uh, program used to be like Healthy Fresno is a big, big year annual event. Now they split it to semi-annual, which usually uh, two days event, make it to one day event now. And Healthy Sister, uh, Healthy Sister Town is a quarterly event for the rural area where uh, we partner with most, most of the time is with the church uh, for the farm worker and the surrounding area. And health education, we have nutrition classes, resilient classes, healthy walk and healthy eating for that. all the diabetes and hypertension patients that belong to our team member that manage this. And uh, these patients are our patients. They are in our database. We are, they're not from the street, uh, in, in white through the street. They are continued care patients that we have on their medical record. We pull, uh, pull them out, invite them to attend those classes so they can continue monitor their uh, blood pressure, sugar, and all this exercise thing. And we have conducted uh, in English and Spanish classes. Then most important is the commu community volunteerism. All this, this team of Fresno always have a lot of volunteer come from local community, colleges, high school, community partners. They are pre-med students and uh, also uh, need some exposure of uh, medical field that they choose whether they like it or not. So we are lucky that we have a lot of this uh, volunteer come from all walks of life, come and volunteer one or two years before they go out to um, medical school or dental school or vision school. And uh, we, this team also have an MOU with uh, uh, some local university for providing internship uh, for the, uh, their student. And creating brand name is very important. You can see all this logo, all this represents something, but at the end, behind of this brand name, all are the ownership of Suji. So very important. We must know how to create a brand name to pull together and let the community partner be part of it, feel belonging to us instead of just participate with us. It's, this is the very important key. Let them be part of it and don't let them be uh, as a participant only. These are the marketing tools we have, like C2 Success. Annually, we pro produce this. Uh, uh, statistic to all our partners and sponsorship for all this event for C2 success. And uh, you can see annually we screen that much of page, uh, student uh, with um, school nurse and with our team uh, on that too. This is the last uh, for this year, little bit below than what previous year, but because of uh, COVID-19, we have canceled 18 uh, school uh, services for that. And this is another design that we sent out to, uh, I create this uh, just for fun of it. It's uh, actually we have an event coming up October screening for foster child uh, for all the vision. So we get, this is a flyers going out to the community with all the partners name underneath and uh, to show our location, and everything. So it, it's create a brand that recognition of this C to succeed name. So also we always make sure we always have a lot of very colorful branding name like 
showing our, our logo, our team, all these things there. So even Tima, you can do that. Be proactive, going out to show more, make, make it fun. Let other people can feel like you, are, you guys are fun team, you see. We have a, a wish and glasses have all this branding attached to it. So how to sustain if we want to create program? So we must have a strong program before we can start doing sustainability on that. And uh, most of the time now is you, if you want to do an event, you make sure we have money to enroll it to make sure support that event. So that's how we do is uh, we always find the funding first before we start a, a, a program. Always a program have back with a funding. Since Fresno implement this uh, K4 Healthy Fresno module in 2015, the grant from 2015 to 19, you should, we see the incre increment because of brand recognition of that and people donate money and sponsor or sponsor because of that particular brand and program. So it also give opportunity to a local agency who looking for a program to donate or sponsor to choose and pick which one they like to uh, support more. So each program that we build is also depends on what the needs of the community in Fresno County and surrounding county too. So under this platform, we give clear and specific who we serve, what service we provide, how we deliver the service, and what the cost for the program. Because everyone just want to say, I want to hear the free thing, but don't never like to listen what it costs me to, for that program. So we must tell them what's the cost. Only a strong foundation and clear mission that will attract support from local community partner to enable us to continue to carry out our mission in long run. A good program that reflects the local needs that will attract more brands and supports. For example, this season success is a need of Fresno County. Because the need of Fresno County, all the partner community uh, partners and community uh, donor will donate to this program because they want to support, support this um, program for the Fresno County. Now we even extended now this C2 success to Madeira County. In this October, we'll start doing Madeira, Madeira County. So it is very powerful when you have a program that lead to another uh, more resource uh, sustainability uh, in operation wise. And local volunteers are more willing to volunteer at an event that benefit the local community needs. So every event we choose and roll is the is need by the community. It's not because of we like to do it because we feel good. It's because the local need. So this is roughly all the sponsorship uh, from the uh, 2019 for this. Uh, program uh, for Fresno team, all the program. You can see even school district donate money back to Su uh, Suchi. It should be the other round, people donate to school, but we, you know, school district donate money to our program. See? So how to get this grant and everything? Everyone say, how the money get come in? How to fundraising? You must collect good data. You must understand the data and evaluate the performance of our own program and the cost effective of the volunteer force. Even though a lot of volunteers are volunteers, so no cost, but technically there is a cost calculation in there to show to people that how, what's our cost effectiveness. Then they're willing to donate more money because of that. So in 2019, Medical mission in US, we so far do whole United States do about 313 events. That's included mobile and outreach. That's called charitable care. We still have 9,000 over and 26,000 service encounter. So making about three uh, market value, 3.3 3 million and labor value, we cost us 1.3 uh, 1.3 million, which is volunteer or staff or anything. 
professional from Tima contribute 200, uh, 2,028 and Tima non-professional side is 5,044 person headcount on that one. So pretty much on doing charity care, we are, how we gauge ourselves is the market value, how much we contribute back to the society that save the government or save any other party because we are there city to produce this smart service and save the county, the government $3.3 million. So how do you see at the labor hour related to that? Look at this uh, sharing, this is like the charitable care average, every $1 labor contribute on in out, uh, outreach only produce 1.3, dollars of market value. Mobile is 3.76. It show that every one person only do 1.8 work. And uh, compared to Fresno is like mobile is one every dollar value create 5.1. What five dollars and ten cents market value? This is really is because of the difference is the we show that overuse manpower in an event. For example, for doc for doctor value, every doctor value one dollar in mobile produce four point nine. Fresno produced 8.48, uh, 6.84. The, the reason that tell you that every, that means that maybe not enough uh, doctors there, but may not enough patient. That's the reason why I say that mobile clinic have to be by appointment because Fresno, all the events are by appointment except outreach and walk-in Tuesday clinic. Other than that, it's all by appointments. That means that we have control enough number of patients come in so that we make sure our doctor have a sufficient enough patient to see and make their time worth instead of too many uh, volunteer doctors sitting around. This comes to volunteer, our general volunteer. I'm sure you heard before some volunteers say, Oh, you guys too many people or nothing to do and end up, end up with standing around talking. Look at the outreach. 5.21, $5.21 every dollar for national average. Fresno is $13.35. They're using less volunteer to do the same work. Okay. Same thing as the, the mobile. So this is the number that you call by doing that, you can see that, oh, if I have outreach at $5.21, that means that I have too many volunteers standing around. Instead of doing three day event or four event a, a year, I can do eight, eight events, split this group of volunteers to two more groups to make it more event, can serve more people and patients don't have to wait. Us come back every three months or every two months or outreach. So that reflect because of those number that do reflect on the grant uh, received. This is a simple uh, grant. Usually grant like we received this year is carry on from October to next year, August or September around that time. Usually the grant receiving like that. So 2019 total whole United States mobile grant is about $680,000. Fresno already uh, raised $560,000 on grant. And same thing as even COVID-19 do not stop the grant. Fresno already received the grant because of the C2 success and other uh, dental program that they continue fund the money even though it's COVID-19. Their program still have to run, you see. So they don't, from here we can understand that people donate because of the program. It's, so they know the program need to run, they continue feed in the money even though good time or bad time. So usually Fresno will start getting more money in October, November. 
time when the usually that's the time where all these uh, organizations get their funding for this year, set, uh, half of this year and beginning of the first year, uh, half. So it's a cycle of uh, October to September next year. So this Fresno team has completed so far 980, uh, 968 events since uh, 2001. In the beginning year, they, they do one event, two events. After the third year, they start doing 12 events and start continue to go up to last year's 120 events and this year's supposed to be 160 events. See? So the market value constitutes $21 million. When you, when you, your team have this kind of numbers should go out and sh share with the partners, the partner will understand that your team are uh, really contribute to the committee and they will partner with you and find the more money for you to progress and keep on improve your medical team. So far, the Fresno team from, we started only uh, getting grant, apply grant in 2005, learning how to apply grant. And it was up to now over $2.7 million of grants money to sustain all our program, which is more than enough for us to sustain. You can see the history from beginning, we started baby step, 20, 15,000, then continue to grow and continue to grow uh, each year, you see. And, and the key part is I like to share is when we realize that con using program and using non-program, when we start 2015 having all our event under program, you can tell the grants start coming double and double and bigger and bigger. And you look at it and say, 2015, we have started our vision program, test pilot, everything. We started getting small grant. Just vision program itself, five years, over $1.1 million. Total grant of the five year period, $2.1 million. That means that because of success of one program, it lead lead to another program like dental program we have that also get funded by, by another agency. So you can tell the first 10 years, we only get half a million. Then the five years, we get 2.1 million. 371% grow the first 10 years compared to the first 10 years. So that tell it's the right direction but with a platform with programs. We run programs. So everyone can identify it's a program. Then everyone, everyone can donate to a program that they like. Like, like I mentioned before, Fresno have senior program, uh, children program, now we have foster program. So all these things, it will touch someone willing to reach out their pocket and donate to your program. So, but we all, this Fresno team always reach out for new ideas and every year. And uh, telemedicine, is a very new way of reaching out the rural area now. And actually we, we are starting training this coming Monday for telemedicine. Why we need telemedicine is how to implement it. We use a site for reach out the church on the migrant worker and uh, our patient target is a rural resident and farm worker and a provider. The best part of this telemedicine is not only limited to Tima member or our provider in Fresno. Now, any Tima provider that are willing to participate, they can be in Los Angeles, San Jose. I have one that used to be a uh, Tima member of pediatric, stay uh, in Fresno, now working uh, Kaiser in uh, San Francisco. She wants to participate in our program. So oh. we can be pediatric program going under, just connect to her over there using our in, uh, telemedicine. So volunteer, I always come with all, all these team members we have and also community partners and staff. Hardware, like you see, always mobilize. Our, can insert into our current program which is our Healthy Sister Tongue program and also invite local participation from local hospital, like their residency program or our UCSF resident program or those centers program that have, they can help us on those uh, telemedicine uh, program in, uh, for the team in Fresno. So this is the unit we bought. Uh, this mobilized, 
is used by military and uh, a lot of other uh, agency. And to complete, they can do ultrasound, EKG, uh, everything. Uh, but the thing is, we get the first set is a uh, few basic one, not complete. Eventually, we'll add it in. We can actually for vision can be used for vision, can use for dental too. So, but the thing with all these things, we always want to make sure, always have a continued training. Without continued training, the team will always lagging and uh, never have a properly motivated or ideas how to be better because we get stuck at the one level. So we always must have continued consistently of training will create a strong bonding among the team members Continue to improve quality of service. Because through training, you find out more better and sharing and brainstorming. You come up more better way to uh, execute and uh, be efficient in your operation and create a positive mindset among all of us. Also provide an opportunity to share the thought and ideas that lead the brainstorm for new project. Every time we have uh, come up with new ideas, but once you have matured on the team, partners will come and look for you and offer you the opportunity. Just like this month, we start, we're gonna start our uh, project with uh, foster child care, uh, uh, children that need vision care and immunization, but we will do the uh, foster care and maybe flu shot with them, uh, with Madeira County and now Fresno County heard it. They want to join too. Next week we have a meeting with that. So these are, they come forward to look forward because why? We city have the platform to do it. So don't oversee the importance of the platform that city have. Really you have the platform, use it and create the, uh, some program for your uh, local medical team. And uh, you will have fun. So we have like training. We have training last year. We have a lot of training. We gave up uh, the boot camp training. The, we boot camp. We have uh, last year after eleven years. We finally said I have time to do it because of everyone's so busy. We had co co uh, consolidated all the Central Valley team like Sacramento, Modesto, Stockton, San Jose team come in to have a uh, learning a new technique, sharing ideas and mindset how to do it uh, to better serve the medical mission. So we create a two-day uh, boot camp. We come all this uh, mindset building, all this uh, analysis, understand of the mobile clinic and versus or outreaches of how to plan the outreach, how to request support, all those things. Then second day, we have hands-on on them. So we create a uh, hands-on uh, how to do sterilization. All the, the reason we do that is we, we have is Having a platform and SOP is to have standardized the whole nation, the way we do the things exactly the same. As same thing as you go to Target, you go to Walmart, every time on the pharmacy or food court, always at a certain angle or certain right hand side or left hand side, they never change the place. Same thing, the idea of medical mission outreach we like to do is always the same. So the volunteer today go help out in other places, they know all are the same under the city SOP. We also give uh, attendee complete of the two days classes after they finish a certificate of completion. So it's important to have this, uh, give the uh, volunteer understand this is uh, the certification of their completion and make them feel that they are part of it. They accomplished something. So like this is the picture that where they, all the team come, break ice breaking is very important, how we do ice breaking and, uh, and also all the classes doing SOP, team building. One of the biggest in this training always is team building. Without a strong team, anything will be break apart. So we need to have a strong mind first. So we are Mindset training, build, team building, all a lot of discussion, understanding of teamwork, all those things enroll into this uh, training. Then we at least are hands-on now. After that, give a chance to hands-on training. 
understand all the tools, all those things. Then, uh, so these are vision, even vision mobile go on the highway 99 program that all the sister from Modesto, Stockton, Sacramento, all these things can come in and participate. We let them go to hand on and volunteer in the, in the mobile and be part of it, not just the staff or the team from Fresno go out there and they do all the things. So it's a one whole big family. So that also New York, New York is the, this last year is the fifth annual medical retreat. We go every year to help uh, sharing the, uh, the mindset and changing SOP or updated all the training, same thing. We last year we go after they arrive their mobile, we go there and train them uh, all this mobile equipment, all those things. Because of the uh, five years to six years uh, with them, New York have a strong mindset and team. Attended 2018, the, the TMA convention in Fresno, held in Fresno. They go back then right away set a goal to buy a mobile. And this team have a so strong mindset out they achieved their goal in 12 months. The fastest team I ever see, they can achieve their goal in 12 months and because of their teamwork and commitment. And the best part is, is admired by our master is because the team that lead by all this mindset and everything so strong, is a team of group of doctors are dentists. They're not even an autom optometrist. They are dentists to push for the vision mobile because why because they think the new york need vision more than the dental they're willing to do that so this is what master so admire them they've let down their pride to do that they want they go for the vision so in 2019 they have a ribbon cutting for the vision and optical mobile because of we have to do a two mobile instead of one mobile because of the street in New York and Manhattan, all those areas so narrow. We cannot have a big car running around in the downtown area. So that's why we do a smaller one. Positive mindset and teamwork proof anything can happen. Now, we, this is a beautiful small version mobile that. I'm sure other teamers around the country now studying. Hopefully you guys can see the light on the other side of the tunnel. Anything can happen if you put your mind and willing to do it. And we are here to help. Las Vegas, that's another team, same thing. After two years of retreat with them, last year they also, uh, they, they already, uh, 2018, they want to do the vision service within 12 months to they will get the money and they are the only team in United States that don't have vision mobile can provide vision service by using portable unit. So we go out and train them and deliver all this equipment after they raise their money. The key is everything they buy, they raise their money to buy. So that the, the key we have enforced this is to make sure once you have this mission, you appreciate the mission. Your team appreciate the mission because you buy it yourself with your fundraising yourself. No one give it you free. You have to work hard for all this mission. Okay? So we have delivered all this portable unit, all the mission that they can do uh, out in outreach that do not need uh, uh, mobile present. So they are working on, uh, suppose we this year starting with the school under the C2 success program too, but some COVID-19 coming, so we have to uh, delay on the program on that one. So they, we do training, we provide all the uh, team member and the doctors train all this equipment that we have. And uh, you can see, oh, they are so happy uh, do it. And this is the foropter that we have is a clip on the board, uh, on the table. You see, you can also have a stand too. Then they have a e first event tryout in the outreach themselves. And because of they don't have a capability to um, make glasses, Presto will support them with the iframe and 
lenses and make glasses for them. So every that we give them a, a set of 30, I think, I believe 30 or 40 uh, frame choice to choose for the client. After that, they send all the prescription to Fresno, then Fresno will make the glasses and 24 hours, send it back to uh, Las Vegas. So that event come to Fresno less than 48 hours from the event start until send the process, less than 48 hours, the glasses was delivered back to Las Vegas to deliver to the uh, patient. So that's what the commitment of, uh, for quality care under Suchi. And the, also the end of the year, last year, we have uh, also retreat in Northern California, same thing happened and uh, they restart a lot of plan and a lot of activities on, on but because of COVID-19, that also delay some of their pro progress, but that won't stop them continue to improve and they have meeting every month, they really start doing focus on things that they have an opportunity to excel in the medical mission. So they already have a team coming to Fresno to uh, learn more detail all the new EHR, all the uh, uh, strong uh, planning, all those things. So we are we're working close with them and uh, hopefully uh, when over this COVID-19, there will be, uh, have a lot of program and strong program uh, that can, can be self-support for their uh, medical missions. Because of this training, we also reach out by international. We have students from uh, Suchi University of Science and Technology. Four students sent to Fresno for uh, a month for uh, exchange training and uh, learning how the Fresno team concept is because their professor is teaching the class of uh, what correct creative thinking. Uh, it's a management class like that. So these are pre, uh, those are more, these students I'm dealing with more in the lab uh, management, uh, hot, in the management in healthcare. So we are very happy to have four of them and uh, they, they are very successful, uh, completed. And the first day, after the second day they arrived, they already uh, start, we put them into working, get ready for our dental clinic, appointment clinics, how learn how to do all this, uh, set up all those things. Then uh, afternoon, we'll go through all the application form, all the forms and all the training, also at the same time train in the Vision Mobile. Then, uh, sorry about that, the computers. And also now this is uh, the tender clinic, the dental clinics. And so uh, the EHR, uh, we work to uh, uh, try to understand how we run the program, how to interplan, inter interface all this uh, uh, module. Then in, after two weeks later, there's another group from Central Taiwan University of Science and Technology from Taichung arrived. There will be five of them. There, this group will come in three months to Fresno doing the same thing. And uh, so we have this student from Suchi sharing uh, with the new student, how they explain the five, uh, two weeks ahead of them, all this thing. It's good combination because they can give them a bit uh, ease on their pressure because of the come to US, expect all speak English. And all these events they participate in, they speak English to the uh, parents or the children when they're serving them, which is, I'm very proud of them that they're don't, not showing the fear of trying to speak English, you see. Then after they left this, also they're, they're doing by themselves, all these uh, Taichung uh, students, and uh, but unfortunately, we have to send them home uh, in the beginning of the March when COVID-19 are uh, getting more serious in US. They have to leave 
uh, they only stay two months instead of three months in um, US. But we continue working with this school and uh, we really plan, have plan for next uh, starting spring for these two schools uh, for the next new batch of our student coming to Fresno. But we're still evaluating whether how they work because the COVID-19, how was the status on that? Uh, well, hopefully next time when Tima, you guys will, will get some update on that for, for this group of students. <laughs> fun uh, video we make for the day that uh, Fresno received their fourth mobile this year. And this is mobile, it's a fully dental mobile. It's, sponsor, it's uh, given by Kaiser Permanente Hospital for, uh, for uh, this beautiful mobile. It's a grand that they uh, sponsor. So this is a three chain dental mobile. Inside is a uh, very roomy. The way we design it, make sure there's always enough room to walk around, and uh, a lot of space on the dental assistant working in the area that not interrupt the dentist while they are uh, working on the patients or hygienists. So this is how it look like, and uh, we still uh, we go apply, apply the license right now, and uh, hopefully after COVID nineteen, then we we'll start this. Uh, dental mobile go on the road for all the program that we have. So the future, most important of the mobile clinic is self-sustained, always the key number one. So we are planned for every chapter that have uh, mobile will be required to self-sustain on their, how we'll help them how to make money, uh, how to apply grant to sustain their program. So that we don't, uh, once we have program uh, built and have self, can able to do self-sustain, then we, this mobile can be achieved, uh, can go long run, can, can continue uh, run the program in, uh, down the road without worry about uh, who will pay for the uh, operations. And all the mobile have to be by appointment model. That's, that way we will be going to a site that don't worry about no patient. We are required to see 20 patients each visit or 25 or 15, depends on what profit, what kind of uh, mobile is going out. And, uh, and a program driven. We don't, we are, everything have to be program driven. You cannot say that I just go on this corner and next week I go that corner, have no relationship at all. So, on what we do. So that not going to help us build our brand. I hope, and also Medical Foundation hope is uh, we look more mobile clinic in uh, US, like Las Vegas, hopefully they will be more eager to have a, a mobile Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, New Jersey, or Seattle, Chicago, and even Long Island, even New York have Two really, maybe Long Island will get now one because Long Island have a very strong medical team too over there. So all this can happen because as long as the team willing to take the responsibility and make, make it happen, it's a teamwork. It, all the team 
uh, partnership and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy each other that make the uh, fun to work in mobile or outreach. And my conclusion is get inspired like this team that like I mentioned be below for this and build your medical mission in your local area. Like I say, we are here to help. Success is not based on the quantity of people, but it's based on the quality of people who believe in city mission and make things happen. And the last, always have a just do it mindset and do it with mindfulness. Always, like Master say, be mindful on everything we do. Once we have mindful in everything we do, even though you are not professional, you can achieve because you consider all the loophole, all the bad and pro and cons that need to be taken care of, you really take taken care of. So I hope this presentation, this presentation give you some ideas what mobile and what you like to do in your area. And I uh, hope you see you soon next time. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Stephen. Always uh, an exciting presentation and uh, very much team focused. I, I think with mobile the clinic able to visit many corners of uh, our streets across the entire United States, uh, we certainly hope to expand that program further uh, in the upcoming year, um, especially if the pandemic, uh, or I should say regardless if the pandemic is still brewing or not, uh, there's definitely an opportunity for us to expand in the uh, different corners uh, across the entire country. So thank you very much, uh, Brother Stephen, thank you. Uh, for your presentation. Uh, very happy for you to receive the 10th mobile.